I'm up to the point now where I'm going to start the decreases so that it will look like the first end. And you can measure, just to be sure, just lay the new part on top of the old part and see that that's where they start. And from this point on, it's just going to be garter stitch because nobody will see that anyway. It's going to be tied under your hair. So start knitting by slipping the first stitch, slip the second stitch, knit the third stitch, and pass the slip stitch over and continue knitting until you come to the last three stitches on the needle. And now you're going to knit two together and knit the last stitch. You're going to continue doing that on every row until you get to just one stitch left. So again, it's slip, slip, knit, pass over, and knit until there are three stitches left on the row. Knit two together, and knit one. Slip, slip, knit, pass over, and now I'm just going to knit those stitches together. And now, slip, slip, knit, and knit those stitches together, and finally knit the last two stitches together. Now you're going to cut the thread, but you're going to leave a nice long piece so that you can crochet a tail that you can tie to the other tail. So, so I'm going to cut it about so, it's about uh, 10 and 12 inches, and just pull this thread through. Now I'm going to take a crochet hook and crochet this to match the other end. So just put your crochet hook through and start making the cord. If you don't know how to do this, I have a video on how to do a simple crochet cord. And just keep going till all your thread is gone, pull it through the last stitch, and you're done. So there's your crisscross headband, and of course you can always make this in one solid color, but I think it's really cute in the two colors, so I hope you'll give it a try.